There's doings are transpiring at the old Steam Ranch. There's a game that's been gaining quite a lot of attention and attraction this past week, and it's not because the game is particularly good or popular. Quite the opposite, in fact. Uh, Journey of the Light is a game about a little ball of, well, black light, I suppose, and the game is billing itself as one of the hardest games ever released on Steam. Uh, they promise that it's so difficult you'll have trouble getting past the first chapter, and it turns out that it may be impossible to get past the first chapter because chapters 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and the 8th bonus chapter uh, apparently don't exist. There's a post on Imgur uh, that is gaining a lot of views uh, currently uh, because it blows the whistle on the fact that there's just nothing in this game. This game that I downloaded myself and it only took a few seconds to download, which is weird. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a very suspicious, very suspicious title indeed. Uh, alarm bells were rung when it turned out that the only person to get any achievements for the game uh, was the developer itself, Lord Krez who has achievements for the first three chapters and nothing else in this eight chapter game. And no one else who's played it has progressed any further than that. Uh, which is suspicious because this is the internet and, well, the internet solved PT within a day when it was designed to take weeks. So the idea that no one else has been able to get any further in Journey of the Light is just rather fantastical to say the least. Now. It turns out that the reason for this uh, may very well be, and indeed looks likely to be, um, there is no game here. Uh, there is just this first level that is nothing. It's pure nothingness. Uh, it's a little map that you wander around as this ball of light, uh, allegedly able to interact with things, but when you press the interact button, it just seems to turn lamps on and off. Um, I've played it myself. I've, I've potted around, shall we say, uh, within the arena itself and found nothing. I found nothing. Um, you know, the game claims that you get just a single sentence at the beginning of each chapter as a clue, the first clue being don't go into the light. Uh, and myself nor anyone else seems to have been able to fathom that out. But there's something at least one person's done. They've dug into the Steam uh, folder, into the files themselves, and found that everything is smoke and mirrors. You see, the level files are basically all the same. Uh, the first five levels are basically the game's uh, intro screens, uh, the little, um, I guess, story cutscene bollocks that comes up. Uh, but when you go to chapters 5 through 11, uh, they apparently are all chapter 1. You load them up, they all start with, don't go into the light, and, and it's the same level over and over again, uh, which explains why the game takes only a few seconds to download. Interestingly, Lord Krez gave clues as to getting past the game even further, uh, but Lord Krez only gave clues for Chapter 2, no clues for Chapter 1, uh, the chapter that you'd think would be the easiest one to give clues for because it's the earliest part of the game and therefore would be the least spoilerific. But no, the clues start at Chapter 2, but no one's at Chapter 2, so no one would have been asking for clues for Chapter 2, uh, which is strange indeed. Lord Krez, who has complained in the past about Steam refunds hurting game sales, has been suspiciously weird about the whole thing. I realise I've said the word suspicious a lot in this video, but it is a very uh, salient word, I would say. Uh, Krez has claimed that it isn't a scam. In fact, Krez says that a recent bug fix is what caused this. Uh, that somehow, in fixing an error with the game, uh, that all of the levels disappeared. Which, again, is probably bollocks, because uh, they said that they would roll back the bug fix and either didn't or have and nothing's changed. Um, again, no one has gotten any further into the game and Krez has become increasingly erratic and, and sketchy in their behavior. Uh, most recently, Krez has said that they're sick and will no longer be available for contact, at least for a while. Uh, has a, apparently just sort of disappeared and retreated uh, while just sort of throwing their arms up and say, fine, go ahead, throw shit at me. Uh, probably not the best thing to do. Uh, it does surprise me that, that 
Prez has not given any tips for level 1 yet. You'd think that the easiest thing to do at this point would be to just tell people how to complete level 1. Just, just complete level 1 and therefore prove that there's something beyond there. But they've not done that, despite, again, being um, willing enough to give clues for level 2. Uh, they've, they've just not given anyone any tools to get past the first level and see for themselves. Now, I did a little extra digging myself and found on YouTube what claimed to be a tutorial to get past level 1. I've tried the trick myself, uh, but it, it, it doesn't work. Uh, apparently the trick is to find a way to get to the edge of the map uh, and then actually fall off the edge of the map, uh, like out of the game world. Uh, again, that, that would sort of back up the clue of don't go into the light because you jump into darkness but as you can see uh, you just respawn on the first map um that's all that happens always in the same uh, same space in the same space i should say uh, so that doesn't appear to be anything uh looking around on youtube uh, mostly the game has played to um just very small YouTube channels, shall we say. Uh, and again, none of them are anywhere except on this first map. In fact, most of the most of the, the videos are about 30 seconds long. So yeah, it's a weird situation. Uh, this game uh, also claims that extra clues are in Steam trading cards, which of course only unlock after two hours. Uh, so that appears to be a rather desperate bid to get you to keep the game uh, until the Steam refund watershed has passed. Uh, so don't do that. Um, whether or not this is a case of, of outright scamming or sheer incompetence still remains to be seen. Um, but it really does look a bit too much like someone tried to be a chancer and had it blow up in their face. Uh, because when you put a game on Steam and claim that there's more there than there is, you're gonna get found out because it's really not hard to check it out for yourself and sort of pull the game open and find out if someone's being a weapon about things or not. But that's that. Um, I find it hard to believe that any developer would be so incompetent as to issue a bug fix that deletes everything except the first level. Uh, it's a possibility, but given Krez's behaviour uh, and, and what they're saying to other people in the interim and now their kind of disappearance, uh, it would seem unlikely that the stated reason is the reason. It's already a weird reason and they're just getting more and more vague and contradictory in what they say. So if you have bought it, definitely go uh, for a Steam refund. Uh, it's being recommended the game gets reported, and I honestly don't think that's a bad idea. Because, yeah, something tells me this person needs to go back to the drawing board, uh, at least produce evidence that the first game is, uh, the first level is solvable. If they can't do that, then you know what, what, what more can, what more, what more can they say in their favour? Apparently nothing. Uh, it shouldn't be hard to produce that evidence, but that evidence has not been produced. Not by Lord Krez, not by anyone playing the game, literally not by anyone. So yeah, that's that. People asked me to investigate this. I mean, most of the investigation was done. The best I can do is signal boost and provide my own experience of the game, which is shit uh, and, and, and unsolvable. And now we know why. So yeah, there we go. Another uh, bit of nastiness on Steam. Uh, get rid of it, cut it out, steam refunds are good and all, but as we can see they're a band-aid over a problem uh, because these chances have not stopped. Uh, I find it funny that someone suggested I'd be out of the job now that steam refunds are a thing. Apparently not! Apparently not, because it's not really stopped anyone from trying. All they've tried to do is get a bit dodgier in their attempts to get you to keep playing the game for more than two hours. Uh, so that's that, that's, that's Journey of the Light journey of the shite more like.